Everyone knows the work experience kit is pretty gullible. Who hasn't been sent to get a left-handed screwdriver or a tin of checkered paint in their time? It's just harmless ritual humiliation. I mean, I even copped it on my first day at the ABC when everyone told me the keep left sign at the gate was the mission statement. But it's hard to top the merry jest perpetrated by the Commonwealth Government on ex-Maralinga worker Barry Dinnison. See, while all the scientists with Barry were decked out head to foot in the full protective suit, young Barry was sent into nuclear test areas wearing a state-of-the-art photo badge, which he was told would change colour if he was exposed to dangerous levels of radiation. That's right. Barry was protected by the 50s equivalent of a mood ring. Now, apparently, Barry can't see the funny side because he's gone blind. And now he's been forced to take the Commonwealth Government to court for psychological injuries he claims were caused by radiation exposure. Of course, things were different in the 50s. Back then, they believed the best way to defend yourself against a nuclear blast was to face the other way. <laughs> Ironically, it's pretty much the same policy that's being adopted now when it comes to dealing with the fallout from Maralinga. Yeah.